Hey, it's Tango Oscar Mike. I'm just out in the yard playing again as usual, letting Augie get some exercise, chase some birds. Um, we had baby raccoons in the yard the other day. Uh, I thought it was a squirrel or something in the yard that wasn't moving, and we walked down the uh, I walked down the yard, and all of a sudden there were two baby raccoons curled up in the middle of the yard, and uh, they went up a tree. The one was uh, moving okay. The other one was moving kind of slow. Sorry, I gotta keep my bag from blowing away here. And um, I set up the chair camera to keep an eye on them and uh, they came down and left later on. So um, I don't know where they went, but hopefully they're doing okay. And then uh, today I saw our first baby fawn of the year in the yard. Uh, we've seen the mother a lot, so we knew she was hanging around the house all the time. So we knew the baby was around here somewhere. And this morning the baby went across the front yard dancing. Um, the, the baby's just, they're loving life. Like they look so happy and they're jumping around and running and playing. And uh, it's kind of like when you see baby cows, you know, we have calves every every year uh, all around us and uh, you'll see the baby cows running around and playing. But after a year or two, they don't do that anymore. They're like, eh, you know, they're, they're done with it, but they're so excited to be, you know, alive. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's really cool to see. So, um, but anyhow, I'm experimenting out in the yard. I've got the 705, and I just talked to uh, W1AW in Missouri with 5 watts, and what I'm using is, I wanted to try something. I, I really haven't messed with verticals at all. Um, I've played with them a little bit, but not very much. So, um, thinking about the, the buddy stick that I was trying to use, um, it's a vertical with an elevated radial. So I got the idea, and uh, this is a uh, N9 SAB dipole for 20 meters that I bought a long time ago. And I have it going up uh, the pole, and then I have the, the other end of it um, coming over here. Now, I don't know which element is the driven element and which element is the you know, technically the counterpoise, which one's shield and which one's a driven element. I don't know um, because the it's completely enclosed, but I gave it a shot and I just talked to Missouri. So I don't know if I talked to him, you know, um, but it, it, it kind of proves to me that a tall vertical, like a 17 foot whip on 20 meters is efficient uh, or will work. Cause I'm looking at getting an antenna and I think I mentioned it, I've, but I want a 17-foot whip. I want the full-size whip, so I don't have to use a coil or anything. And I just wanted to try this and play around. I might, I'll probably do some more playing around, but this shows me that it does work. Now, how is it compared to a dipole? I don't know, but I'm tempted to put this up in an inverted V. Um, you know, just... Uh, switch it around and put it up as an inverted V and see what the signals are like. So I may do that, but yeah, just playing around a little bit and uh, seeing what we get. I had to go get some fudge. This is a moonshine fudge. I already had a piece of cherry bourbon. That's vanilla bourbon, and that's a lemon meringue pie. It's actually really, really good. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. QSL, QSL, I have you 5-7 into Pennsylvania. Q 
QSL running 5 watts. Uh, thanks for the contact. Well, yes, sir. I appreciate your 5 watts. Uh, thanks, and you're definitely making the trip down here to Florida. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, and good luck to stay safe, sir. It's at QRP is fun. You get that extra thrill when you make those contacts that are like hard to make. But 5 watts, 705 on the internal battery using a funky dipole setup, uh, an L dipole setup. So, uh, yeah, I think I might have to, to uh, get the, the antenna I'm thinking about. Well, I think I'm done playing around. For tonight I gotta go in and get ready for our two meter net but yeah this was fun I always enjoy playing around with different antenna setups and just various configurations and uh, it's kind of neat that that actually worked you know it's always kind of cool when uh, when something like that works, you just throw it together. Um, I do want to try a 17-foot vertical with ground plane and uh, see how that works. But you use what you have, come up with, uh, I mean... This isn't, like I said, this isn't new. This is kind of the same setup that the Buddy stick uses. It's an elevated radial with a vertical element. The Buddy stick, though, has that coil, and it's a very short antenna. And when you're running QRP, a compromised antenna just doesn't do you any good. Um, it'll work, but you're going to have a much harder time where if you use a full length antenna you'll have uh or a quarter wavelength antenna you'll have a lot better luck or a five eights or something like that so um but yeah so i gotta tear this down and get ready for the net tango oscar mike 